Just because we've had frigid temperatures lately does not mean that lake ice is safe yet. Also, the weekend warm up may change those conditions as well. How does ice form on our lakes? Good question. Kirsten Mitchell found things under the surface play a big role too. From skating to fishing. Some days you can't keep them off the hook. Minnesota's frozen lakes offer 10,000 opportunities. It's amazing. I mean, this is what we live for. We know it has to be cold for the lakes to finally freeze over, but how cold are we talking? Lake ice formation starts pretty much when the temperature starts to get below freezing. Luigi Romolo is a DNR climatologist. The ice will start to form on the outer edges on the shores of the lake. We call that shore ice, and then it'll start to grow inward. With consistently cold temperatures and calm conditions, the ice that forms is clear and smooth. But we know that's not often the case for us here in Minnesota. The windier it is, the longer it takes for the actual ice cover to form. Then there's snow. Snow plays a big factor in ice formation because it acts as an insulator. So when you get snow on an ice cover, it will prevent the ice below it from getting thicker. It can also weight down the ice and cause the ice to crack. We had a pretty big crack open up um, east to west. Lake ice is weakest in areas of flowing water, like streams and under bridges, and close to shore. Ice thickness can vary even in just a few feet. Gas holes caused by stream inlets and aquatic vegetation can also weaken ice, and areas near logs, rocks, bridges, and docks can be dicey too. White ice is caused by snow, melting on top of the ice and refreezing. But white ice is only half as strong as clear ice because it's filled with air bubbles. The clearer the ice, the stronger it tends to be. Ice thickness guidelines should be doubled when traveling on white ice. My best advice is to always check the thickness of the ice. If you're drilling and you're not all the way through the ice and you're hitting water, that's a good sign that that ice is not safe. With photojournalist Jose Pasquale, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. The DNR says there needs to be at least four inches of clear ice before you can walk on it, but it does remind everyone ice is never 100% safe.